This is the Signal Fire Note Checker. It consists of a box with electronics in it, with an antenna on the back, and you need a USB uh, cable to interface to your computer. The Note Checker allows you to connect to the gateway from anywhere in the Signal Fire network, uh, see information that's at the gateway for any node that's in the network, and therefore it's a very useful installation tool that will allow you to see a node at the gateway that you have just installed. You can see how strong the signal is when it's checking in. You can see the data that it's checking in with. Um, and, and you can verify that the installation was done properly. So to run the node checker, you need to put the antenna on. The antenna screws on the back. It's often good to, to, to mount this up high, like maybe put it on top of your truck or something like that. Um, and bring the USB cable in through the window and plug it into your, your, your um, PC. So we plug the USB cable into the front panel of the, of the note checker and plug the USB cable into the computer. And now we are ready to use the note checker. And you'll, you'll note that the LEDs are on, which means the note checker is getting power. It's powered from the computer, so you don't need any external power. And we're now ready to go and connect to the, to the gateway and verify that the node that we just installed is operational and we can also check on any other node that is in, in the network. Okay, the node checker application is accessed via the SignalFire toolkit, uh, just like uh, the configuration um, applications. So we'll launch the SignalFire toolkit here. And it's going to, again, ask for checking for software and firmware updates. I'm going to say no because I know I've got the latest. And so here's the toolkit. Um, we're going to auto, we're going to not auto detect, but I'm going to run the node checker utility, which is down here in the lower left-hand corner. And it brings up this screen that we see here. Um, and I'm going to open the COM port and then check read node checker settings because I want to see that the settings are set up correctly and what you need to do is you need to set the network the network group and the corporate ID to be exactly the same as the system that you're trying to connect to and for the test system I've set all of these to zero just for um, this test so they're set correctly here if you needed to change them you would change them right down here and press these set buttons and you'd see them change up here as well. So I'll just, for example, if I change that to a one and say set, you'll see that it's now set to network number one. But I'm gonna set it back to zero because I know that the network that I've got is uh, zero, zero, zero um, system. So um, I do not have a no checker password uh, set for this gateway, but if you did set a password, uh, you would need to uh, put that in uh, right here. And I'm gonna say connect to the gateway what it's going to do is it's looking for the network uh, and it just found it found the uh, it found a neighbor and it's connected to the gateway and you know that because it just says found neighbor down here and up here I'm going to list the slaves so this is going to go out to the gateway it's going to find all the slaves that are connected to it and return the list in this big list box right here and I only have one slave I have one gateway and I have one slave that has a slave ID of one so you see it here so I've found slave ID 1. If I double click on that slave, it'll pop up a little bit of information on that slave in this window right here. And you can see that the slave type is a Sentinel Heart uh, node. It has a slave ID of 1. Um, it's, you can read its battery voltage here. It says 3.702 volts. Um, it has the software version um, and the number of registers that it's checking in with. And then the interesting part is right down here. This shows the route, or the route that the node is using to get to the gateway. And in this case, since I have one node, it's talking directly to the gateway. I'm going from num you know, node 1, which is this node, to the gateway with an RSSI of minus 42. So if there were multiple hops involved, you would see multiple hops, and you would see the RSSI of each hop. For example, if one were hopping through 10 and then to the gateway, you'd see one to 10 with a certain RSSI and then 10 to the gateway with its RSSI. But again, this one's talking directly to the gateway um, and its RSSI is minus 42, which is a very strong signal. 
So that lets you know that this slave is out there, it's checking in, and it's got a good signal strength. If you want to read some of the registers, you can plug the slave ID in up here and press this button right here that says uh, read all registers. Um, or you can read selected registers, but I'm going to read all of them. And here are the registers that the slave is checking in with uh, to the gateway. So again, this is the Sentinel Heart uh, node. It's a slave ID of one, and here are all the registers that uh, it's checking in with. And there's no sensor connected to it right now, so they're all sort of a default. But these are the registers, 4000, 4001 through 4013. And um, those registers are actually at the gateway. Again, we're not talking to the node itself, we're actually talking to the gateway and getting the, the information from the gateway that the node is checking in with. So that's the, uh, that's the node checker utility. Again, it's, it's real strength is if you're out in the field and you're installing a node and you want to know if it's connected correctly, you can, without going back to the gateway, uh, set up your node checker, um, connect to the gateway uh, with the right network, uh, network group and corporate ID right here, <laughs> password if you need it, uh, you connect to the gateway, you list the slaves, and then double-clicking on the, in the individual slaves will give you uh, information on them uh, right here. And that's what you need to know that the system is connected correctly. So that's the node checker. Thank you for watching this video.